Hello, MacWarriors. How's it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere. We're going to continue our playthrough today, and I want to play one of the Heroes of the Inner Sphere uh, special missions where we can actually get a hero mech. So, we're going to dive into the one that the Will of Kali has given us, and this is the first part of the mission. I really hope that we can play all the parts today, so let's check it out. Let's not waste any time. We have to, I don't know, defend? Attack? No idea what this is, it's a campaign mission, and I would say we will pick some salvage here. And we have a drop because tonnage of limit of 270. On this mission, okay. Stay frosty. I will say, I will take my Marauder, and the fire starter is an archer, because this guy is really good with missiles. And the other guys... Oh god, I don't want the Kintaro here. I actually want the dragon. Is that possible? It is possible. Um, I, at the same time, he's really good with energy weapons. Maybe we should just give him the N7 charger. But then we had to drop this guy. I mean, it's possible. It is possible. Let's bring... Wait a second. This Thunderbolt. That seems good. Yeah. You know what? We have some PPCs. We have some missiles. We have more PPCs here and an autocannon 20 burst fire. And then we have a brawling marauder. That seems like a team, guys. I would say we're gonna play it like that just like that let's do it oh wait before we do that one thing yeah i think this is how i'm gonna go about it i will swap those pilots for the reason that he is he's really good with energy weapons but he could train more by just shooting a lot of energy weapons um this guy has a five out of ten if we can max that out it would be amazing and we can still learn ballistics here on the hunchback i think this is how, how i'm gonna do it so you go over here we're gonna just swap those and you have energy and missiles, it's it's perfectly fine. Alrighty guys, ready up! Here we go! This is gonna be interesting. Oh. What is the mech that we get out of here? I mean, I've played it on my Twitch playthrough already. Um, I forgot about it. I completely forgot about it. But okay, let's go. They want us to put these zealots down in Why? order to shield their existence from the general Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Oh. To <laughs> and be sure we are to going to the wrong side directly. I'm fiddling with my weapon groups right now. Give me a second. I think this is how I want to play this. Yeah, better. Alrighty. So, here we go. Now I have this large laser independent. That's more important. One, one thing though, before we before we continue, I think we can quickly make it so that the the voice volume is a bit louder. So we're gonna get that up to like 69 and then tune down the music and this a little bit so that the voice overall is now louder and you can hear it better. Hey, what are these battle mechs? Oh god, they've destroyed our perimeter watch. They're here to kill us. I'm not here to kill you. Is there anybody here? Survive the onslaught and kill all enemy units. Protect the, the garrison. I, I don't see anybody. Oh, right there they are. VTOL on approach. VTOL on approach as well. All right. And there's the VTOL. Oh god. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of stuff happening at the same time. But hey, we finally got the warrior units down. That's pretty good. Kapow! Kapow! Oh, I love this mech. It's pretty good. Bow. Can we get it? Launch laser, maybe? Wow, the hitboxes of that thing are just so amazing. It's just crazy. And he is behind the rock. Alright, got it. Okay, you guys. Yeah, you go for that thing. I'm gonna start engaging here on this side, okay? We cannot even see anything. The fog is making it like real, real obtrusive. Opaque. Uh, target destroyed. Target destroyed. There was an urban mech somewhere, so we're gonna try to find that thing as well. It's an AC20 burst Irby. I wanna stay away from him. Couldn't yet. Mm hmm. I mean, this mission is probably a little longer. So I believe it's a good idea to not get into that urban mech range. Gonna cycle around him. Actually, we are getting closer to him now. Can we take that right side? Good shot there, Irby. Ooh, well done. But your AC20 is out of the field now. 
cool. Last guy is a... Oh, I should also preserve ammo. We have to destroy 32 units here. So if I can destroy them with the lasers, I should probably try to go for it. Okay, good try with the PPC. There we go. That should be everything for now. Or is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 6 out of 32 seems a good number to send in more waves. Come on, Rihanna. Tell me that there's more. Additional there we go. Just the perimeter, Commander. Cool. Expect company soon. Man, I really wonder how this thing does in the end. How it performs. I, I really hope that this was not a, um, you know, a wrong pickup. <laughs> <laughs> the N7, uh, or the Lucky 7, the uh, the charger here, that currently runs two PPCs and a bunch of medium lasers. It has some um, uh, long-range outfit, so it's okay. But I think it might only be okay and nothing else. Cicada coming in. They have a lot of lighter things that are attacking, so they are setting us under pressure just with that. Not quite. It was not an optimal range. I want to try to take the VTOL so I don't have to go back again. That's my idea here. Get the mission finished quickly. Alright, so far so good. And now that we have the enemies here, we're just gonna go for it. Ooh, good shot with the peep. I love it. Okay. And down he goes. And now what? The VTOLs are still not in, in range. And I think I can leave it to my team to destroy those guys here. Uh, the tanks that are around me. I want to go for the Cicada. Come on, Cicada, fight me. Still not that dangerous here. There he is. Nice. Mm. Okay. Kind of juking me. It's kind of really hard to assess the, the movement of the Cicada when he's moving around like crazy all the time. And, you know, twisting the torso like that, it's, it's, it's good. It's really good what he does there. It's about to explode, and let's get out of here. Yeah, sure send more. Absolutely. I want more at the same time. Also, the Beatles, I, I think, one. still alive. Unless somebody shot him down with a PPC or something. I want to make sure. There it is. Ah, come on, man. I just wanted him down. So, next up, another flyer. Another pair of flyers. Not a pair of flyers, but a pair of flyers. Got him. Alright, and we have a mech right around the corner. That's a freaking hunchback. I don't want that. Can I not have your AC-20, please? Okay, so far so good. That's not a good shot. I'm gonna take cover. My left side is getting damaged like crazy. I'm not a fan of that. Also, team, would you please engage and not just blindly follow me? Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh god. I can hear them dying already. <laughs> but there's more, right? Surprise, mother flicker! It's not dead yet. Got him. 17 out of 32. Seems good. And uh, we are halfway through. My mech is also halfway through. But the other guys, since they are kind of backliners, you know, they are fine. They are absolutely fine. Could probably leave them to engage those enemies a little bit more. Oh god, on the other side of the battlefield. Alrighty. And we see a Vulcan, we see a Locust. And then there is a spider coming from the other side, as well as a VTOL that we can quickly take. Not. Dodged it. Ah, oh, come on! Just wanna get you down! He's like super annoying. This is unbelievable. Ah, oh, got him. Alright, fine. So, now for the city. I'm gonna move around. I was thinking about pushing through to get to the spider, but I guess we are not doing that. You know what? I'm gonna leg him. Because Vulcans have amazing upper torso hitboxes. But their legs are kind of squishy. Yup. And now the spider. No, it's a locust, actually. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing I don't like. Also, where's the spider? I'm missing the spider still. 
Gotta keep that in mind. Okay, Mr. Locust. Prepare to die. Mm, it's okay, I guess, to shoot into the city? Question mark? We can also go around and kill some tanks on the other side. Let's do that. What about ammo? We have 62 shots left for ammunition. I think this should be okay. Come over here! Nice! That was a nice hit and run. But I think we got him lagged now. Yeah. No, wait. No, we didn't. He looks like he's lagged based on his movement. Alright, so we got that done, which means we're gonna turn around and hunt down the spider, because it's, I think, the last enemy of that wave, and then we're gonna hopefully get a bigger one, because right now this is, like, just shooting fish in a barrel. But the fish moves. Okay. I mean, we can do that. I hope that the spider engages us here, with us dealing so much damage to it, instead of just wreaking havoc in the city. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, oh, he jumped! Okay, so far so good. Come over here, Spidey. Yeah, now we are in medium laser range. And... Nope. Boom. Will he explode? He will not explode. Alrighty. We have what? Nine more. Let's go for it. Is the base still under attack, though? Man, I wonder if there is something in the back. Additional no. This is why I, why I don't commander. like those those bigger missions, by the way. Um, of the bigger bases, because you never know if there is somebody hiding all the way in the back. By the way, ID. that catapult is prime target, because it can deal so much damage. Not bad. Okay, Thunderbolt is going in. I'll move over here. Another Locust, okay. Just doing some shotgun action. And there's the cat. Yeah, I should probably engage him directly. All in. Can I hit that? I can hit it. Alright, so we take that real quick. Oh, and that guy is getting alpha struck big time. Down he goes! Nice! Cicada is next. So far, it's kind of a very, very slow-paced mission. And it's kind of a standard mission, isn't it? It's just a base defense with a little bit of flavor. It's not handcrafted or anything. Good hit. Okay. Yeah, we got you! We can get you! Pretty good. I like this mech, by the way. I like the Marauder with a build like that. It's super chill. Shoot every now and then, and then you get some kills. And that might be the last wave of attack now. No challenge whatsoever. Not really. Okay, so there's one light mech coming. It's a Locust, okay. But he will, he will come in anytime soon. No problem there. I want to get rid of the fire starter and the main force here on the right side, as well as that AC-20 hunchback. Got that guy. We need line of sight here, therefore we'll make a breach. Especially important for our... Oh, ammo low. Um, for our friends with the PPCs, because they have a big impact there. Stay on one target, it's important. Take that hunchback out with the AC-20. Ooh, can we get it done? 20 is crit. 20 is down, alright. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it for my friends to finish. And I'm gonna go for the the other secondary targets now. Like this fire starter. That's dancing around in our backs. Go for it. Come on. Actually, I'm gonna try to destroy his right side first. Has one side down, he is about to get cored, that's good. And down he goes, nice. So, in terms of ammo, we are down to nine shots. 
And that is, I would say, just enough here. Careful. With the team damage. And we got him. Ooh, so we took a little bit of damage on... Oh no, don't stay there. Really? Was that necessary? Oh. He took a lot of unnecessary damage here. Alright, so that was first part of the Will of Kali mission. It's called something different, but um, it comes from the Will of Kali. This kind of like super secret uh, religious organization or something. Let's take a look. We are, by the way, uh, for all of you who don't know what this is all about, we are looking for a rogue uh, fanatic that, uh, you know, is doing kind of... He's trying to... Or she is trying to found a splinter group or something. I think that was it. We cannot quite get the catapult, but the C1 is also not one that I... No, wait, it is one that I wanted. Okay, we are not taking that. We can take cicadas and the hunchback. That's very good value. I'll take the spider and the cicada. And then nothing else, I think. Good machine guns, by the way. I'm over? Oh, I'm over! Okay, uh, then it is the Vulcan and the cicada. Got it. Perfect. And we have very little damage taken. That's pretty good. And here's the next part of the mission. So, the Will of Kali says, Damn, this pathetic blasphemer. She may have escaped our grasp, but lucky for your arms stra wait, lucky for your arms stretch across the galaxy and have located her base of operations. It appears that she controls a settlement in the house call system. You must go there and raise it to the ground while ensuring that no one escapes. The eyes of Kali watch you closely now, Commander. Do not fail us again. Cleanse the system of this insurgent and her weak followers. Another failure and you will make an enemy you will fear until your final days. Okay, can do that. Sounds like a base destruction. Also, we get a pretty shitty SRM-6, but that's okay. It was a pretty bad Cantina mission anyway. Target lock retention. Yay, got it. Uh, by the way... Treasure Hunter, War Dog. Yeah, we can still pick a lot of these War Dog missions. Sure, why not? But there's no cantina here, there's nothing else we want to do except for repairing our battle max. We're gonna do some battlefield refits here. And we are already at 3 million sea builds again, which is pretty good. We go to House Carl. 13 days, no big deal. And since we are in a pretty far out system, we probably have very low rated um, standard missions here, which we pro should probably not take because, I mean, grind the low, low tier stuff with the max that we have already is just not fun. It's not a challenge, that's what we are not doing. It would be easy to get some money out of those 14 or 12 missions, but we are here to play that. Again, it kind of seems like it might be a base demolish mission. Um, let's see what we're going to be doing with this. I'll take the salvage again. We have relatively high drop tonnage. This is going to be the archer here. Uh, you can stay on the hunchy. You can also take something else. What about you take the marauder? I like that idea. Alright, you take the Marauder, don't destroy it, because there's good stuff in it. Mm, and I'm gonna take Mr. Black Knight. I haven't played that in a while. So yeah, we have the Charger. Yeah, that's how we do it. Uh, we have the Charger, we have the Marauder, as well as the Archer, and me on the Black Knight. Seems good. Seems good, seems good. What I love about the Black Knight is that it's so precise. You just aim at center and you just grind through the enemy's armor and melt it away and cut through it with the laser vomit that we have on this guy. It's just beautiful. Could also be an assassination. No, it's it's a base destruction. Sure. Maybe I should have taken airstrikes and, and the fire starter. Alright. They want you to raise the location to the ground to ensure that no one escapes. No problem. Can do it. Ooh, I should uh, set up weapon groups inside. for the charger. I should definitely do that. Mm-hmm. Couldn't really destroy that thing yet. Come on, guys. It's a tank. Really? Target acquired. Target destroyed. Okay, we got him, I think. I, I want to believe that we got him. Oh. Ooh, nice ambush. Let's get that thing out of the game quickly. Yeah. And we're gonna keep pushing. Is there anything else? 
some harassers. Nothing too crazy. And yeah, you could see that the charger shot both PPCs at the same time, which I believe is an indicator for he only has one weapon group for the peeps, which is really bad for heat management. Okay. Take that real quick. Uh, what's that? I would say it's dead. It's a dead knight. Target identified. Bring it down. What? There we go. That's what I mean. It's a freaking urban mech. And we are shut down? I should not have shot everything. Okay. Thank you for your damage. I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, let's go for night vision as well. So we can see a bit better. I will cool down before I go for another alpha. Okay, got that. And I want to leave it to the team to actually deal with those guys. So that they can attract some fire too. And my Black Knight is not getting completely wrecked. So far, so good. I mean, that's a Locust right in front of us. Oh, it's a flea actually. It's a flea. Herbie, come on. Die already. Bad Urban Mac, man. And I have the feeling that it's better to just destroy those things now. Alright. So, I don't know if you're still hunting the locusts or anything. Oh! Don't run in front like that. Sorry, Archer. Nice pat on the back here. That was not good. And the flea is also still on the board. Not anymore, though. Okay. So, finally, finally, we can actually concentrate on wrecking that base. Take all of that. What? Static Max? That's cool. That is so cool. There's a lance coming down, by the way. I should really not do so much eat. Oh god. Oh god. I'm gonna overheat, right? So there was a lance of Max coming down. And... Uh, I think I should stay kind of in the proximity of where they dropped in order to intercept them quickly. At the same time, we gotta do that right now. Breach here. There's a lot of stuff to destroy in this area. 16% health. Seems good. By the way, Dooley got some damage as well. Where did the max drop? There was a dropship on the map. And I don't know where it landed. Luckily, we are cold again, so we could engage if we wanted to. Okay, we could go home now. Or, we're gonna attack and try to get some Starlink era salvage here. Like the Crap 27 SL. Yeah, the thing is running double heat sinks, let's core it. Oh no, oh no. Get the crap, guys. I, I gotta go. I don't want to lose my side torso. It's the crap down. Guys, that's so important. Get that thing. They also have a champion or something. Oh, here's the crap. Hey, crap. What are you doing it? Got him. All right. Let's get out of here. And that's a champion with an LBX auto cannon and some other... Th we need to get that salvage here. I hope I negotiated for it. But I'm pretty sure. Uh, left side twist, I guess? SRM Artemis, short burst lasers, and an LBX. That thing is dangerous. <laughs> but it's also almost down. We are scrambled? Who's running ECM here? I don't know. Oh, uh, it's a Phoenix Arc with ECM! Oh no. I mean, we are a headshot. We should probably get out of this now. Seriously. I don't want to lose that mission. Team, can you please engage that guy? Would be very much appreciated. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. And I think I want to I wanna stay here. I really want to stay here. But I want my friends to do something about that Phoenix Hawk. Because there's SLDF Starlink era stuff in it. We're gonna try to take it. 
I mean, ideally, we just take that arm. And now he should punch out. Come on, come on, come on, punch out. Leave the good stuff in it. Yeah, all right, now we go, right? Uh, Jäger Mac S, Rifleman. I would love to take a Rifleman, but let's get out of here. Let's just run. There is enough good salvage on the board. There's no need for us staying any longer. Cool, we made it. I don't think that this Jäger Mac is... No, it's fine. Ooh, what a mission! <laughs> that was crazy. That was really crazy. I almost lost the side tower, so I hope that nothing got critical internally. So we're gonna keep our good stuff in the mech. And um, we probably need to play another mech. We cannot afford repairing in this cluster here. Alrighty. <laughs> now that's funny. Um, that's really funny. I cannot take the... The, the Black Knight, but I can pick the crab and then turn it in because we need to get a crab. There's a large pulse laser as well. I don't care about that. Guardian ECM is interesting, but you can only put Guardian ECM in a mech that is capable of running a Guardian ECM, so there's that. What, what about that thing? What does it run? Does it run double heat sinks? I cannot even take it. Why am I thinking about it? No, we'll, we'll take the crab. Large laser short burst. Uh, uh, SRM Artemis. Medium laser short burst. An AC2! Yeah, probably not. There is a double heatsink. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Perfect. Uh, we'll take that. We might want to pick that here. The AC2. Just to get the mission done. Large pulse. I'm not a fan of large pulses, honestly. Not really. Limited range. Good rate of fire, though, but they weigh a lot, and you need to make them good with double heat sinks, and we don't have that yet. Those short burst last lasers, okay. But yeah, I guess I'll just take the crab and gonna sell, just scavenge it completely. Take all of the stuff out of it. That's good. And then um, get rid of it again because of the Cantina mission. Let's take a look. Battle Max. There's the crab. Oh, it's, uh, it's taken apart already. Interesting. Um, let me see. I want to take a look at that thing. Maybe it even is a mech that... Wait a sec, loadout. Um, that I want to run. It has two large and two mediums. I mean, the idea of the mech is that it is jump capable and it comes with double heat sinks. And now that the mech um, automatically was going to um, cold storage, it was stripped directly, which means we should have oh, all the doubles of the crab. I am so happy to see that. That was jackpot. That was complete jackpot here. <laughs> nice. So, we're gonna turn in the crab for the Cantina mission because we don't need it. We're gonna get a light rifle, tier 5. Pretty good. As well as a million sea bills and some carrier reputation. Da da. And uh, we have another part of the Scully mission here. So, let's go. Hazing of the Week. Hazing of the Week is the name of the Heroes of the Inner Sphere special mission here. We intercepted some of the Blasphemer's followers as they fled our last attack. After some persuasion, we were kind enough to provide us with some information. Uh, they were kind enough. Um, so, the heretic goes by the name Aditi Whitbay. Before you even made it back to your ship, the loyal followers of the true leader were able to get everything you need from the disobedient scum. It seems she believes herself to be still in the service of the true leader. The mind of Kali found much on her new ideology. She seems she was desperate to find new followers to our cause and was spouting a false interpretation of the beliefs to anyone misguided enough to listen. Somehow, this pretender became mad. She thinks the true leader spoke to her privately and told her to single-handedly speed up the process of achieving some of our goals while also bringing in new followers all on her own. This filth, it gets even more press Preposterous, preposterous from here. In her, in her ravings, she mentions repeatedly a fear of a human-like dog she calls the big dog. And she has an irrational fear of being co uh, covered in dog food. Okay. Clearly, Whitby, is that a lore thing? Is that kind of foreshadowing for some bigger event that's happening in, 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 in the canon? I don't know. 
Clearly, Whitbay never spoke with our true leader privately, but her insane ramblings and actions continue to be the biggest threat of destroying the Church of Kali along with everything we worked so long to achieve. Luckily for our well-being, the arms of Kali once again tracked her down for you. She didn't tra travel far this time and has been located in the nearby system of Grand Base. Kill this madwoman, Commander, before we decide to take out, out our frustration and kill you instead. Okay. Alright. Take a look at the battle max. This guy needs major repairs. I don't think that we're gonna do it on this planet. It's not that much extra payment. We'll queue it. It's fine. Oh, you got cord. Ooh. What's going on here? Charger is still good, and I wanted to set up weapon groups. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're gonna set five and six, and we're gonna make this a nice chain fire group, and just in case you get that short burst laser on a single weapon group. So now you can fire away, buddy. We'll do it like that. Alright. So that's pretty good. Um, the Marauder needs some minor repairs here, and I would say we're gonna go to the next part of this. Go down here to ground base. And gonna we're gonna find her, right? And she's really getting mad at me. The will of Kali. <laughs> it's kind of... Uh, I don't know. She's so condescendent. She is... She's always... She's always like, yeah, if you don't get it done, we are getting it done. Oh, we have done it already for you. So we didn't need you anyway. It's kind of weird. Uh, we will do something with the double heat sinks and all the goodies that we got from the last mission when we are in a travel hub. So, or industrial hub. So we can actually rebuild our max with less cost. Also, we are grinding money, which means we should probably pick up a new mech there. Uh, anyway, contracts. Which one is it? Hazing of the week. Ooh, level 75. We could technically also play this Warzone afterwards. Is it tier 30? It's not that great, though. Nah, we are not. Anyway, uh, this is what we do. We take all the salvage shares because you could see we could get real good stuff out of this. So I think we go with all of that all the time now. And... Hazing of the... Is, is that a... Destruction again? I don't know. Maybe we'll take Kintaro. It's mobile enough to get things done. Sure. And this Archer is... A Thunderbolt now. And this Marauder is still a Marauder, I think. Alrighty. Ready up, everybody. Here we go. I think I can get uh, more done... With this Burst Fire mech here. Actually, I'm actually thinking about getting double hit things on this and just be, like, engaged all the time. Like, all the time. Because right now we have a lot of burst, but we don't have sustain on this guy. Maybe, maybe that's a way to play it. But then we have a rather squishy mech. Oh. It is a raid. Or assassination. Sure. Yeah. They want us to stomp out this sect before their proclamations draw unwanted attention to the will of Kali. Alrighty, Let's I'll do it. Over quickly. All of these zealots are making me uneasy. Very nice, Rihanna. We can do that. Now, for our battle plan, I think we're gonna go left first and then to the right. And I hope that we don't trigger both bases at the same time. This is behind a rock, though. That should be fine. Even if they are getting triggered, we will most likely have enough time to, you know, get the first thing done. It's a lot of action here. Hmm. I wait for the... I wait for the big guys. What's the mech that we are seeing there? Again? Starlink era? I love it. It's a Kentaro 19. Interesting. Yo, guys, go in there. I need your fire support, please. God. Can you attack that real quick? All right, Kintaro. I want to go on your back. Nope. That was not a good shot. That was an okay shot. And that was a good shot. And now, to the butt again. Woo! Up he goes! <laughs> I love when that happens. The ragdoll at its finest. Cool. So you're still looking into the sky, looking for Igors. That's okay. What's that? It's a Highlander. Is that a Starlink Highlander you're talking about? Oh no. Oh no, I'm attracting way too much fire! What? Yo guys, uh, I need your help now? 
Um, there, there's way too much firepower on the board. Yeah, you know what? That's a freaking Star League era Highlander. And my left side also is about to pop. That's a problem. A pretty big one. What are we doing about it? I have no idea. We need to somehow get in their back still. I need to... I need to right side twist with this mech. Oh god. Champion! Gauss PPC champion! Alright, we'll sneak upon the Highlander from behind. Hey, Roughneck. Just chilling here? Alright, fine. Don't explode! Oh, crap. That's my arm. That's my freaking arm. Alright. See, that's what I mean. My people engaging, finally. Let's go. So, we lost significant amount of firepower. But we still have some. Ah, come on, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to be in his back. Got him. This guy is headshot, funnily enough. Let's try to keep up with that. Oh, God, I'm dying. What? Leave me alone. Oh, God, this mission, we might have to replay it. Ah, uh, actually. Actually. Mm, not happy. Alright, we go now. Unless this is a mech that we want. Okay, here's the thing. PPC, short burst laser. Oh, God, they have more of these Stalic era things. But, you know what? I'm gonna get out of here. We have to. We probably have to settle with the Highlander or the stuff that the Highlander brings. It's another Gauss rifle, so I'm, I'm okay with that. We, we don't have so much stuff anyway. Opponent lost? Who lost? Oh, I was an enemy saying that. Okay, fine. Ooh, that was a bad mission. Are we not going home? Oh, there we go. That was difficult. I should have not taken the Kentaro here, but we can rebuild it. That's not that big of a deal. And we made it. We made it out alive. And that means we can play the next part of this mission and maybe get the uh, the hero mech that we are looking for here. And again, that Highlander, that is a very good pickup. Oh, the parts of it. I'll take the Gauss. I wonder if I should take the ERPPC. Double Gauss 1 ERPPC build is a very good sniper. I like that idea. Kintaro 19, by the way. 81 kph. 4 missile hard points. I cannot see what it is running there, though. Like, base. I don't know. SRM Artemis, no. I think if we can find some, we should probably pick Gauss ammo. We have two bins here. No double heat sinks, sadly. That's okay, though. We'll take the two Gauss bins. And then what? LRM20 Artemis? Nah. This is a good PPC, I'll take that. We'll take the LRM. And then we have two more picks. I would say we take another LRM just to have something that we can sell. Let's quickly check if we were missing anything. It's double Gauss. It's the Gauss Rifle, and yeah, we are not taking any of those mechs. This thing only has two hard points, and it's not great. Not at all. There's still a lot of value in those mechs, though. What about the Kintaro? I need to look it up on Sana. Give me a second. Okay. Sana, by the way, if you don't know, it's kind of like the Battletech wiki that uh, tells you everything about everything. So we're gonna... I'm gonna do it quickly... Here. Next. Kintaro. You cannot see it right now, but uh, trust me. The Kintaro 19. Where is it? I don't see it here. What? There's the 19B. The Royal Brigades of the SLDF. XL engine, double heat sinks. Um, to a 15. No, this is not the one. It's not on Sarna? Omar. Starlik era mech handed to blah blah blah. No. I think it has double heat sinks. So do I want the doubles? 
I have to pick the Kintaro if I want the double heat sinks, but I think I want another Gauss rifle instead. Let's go with that. So we have double Gauss. Yeah, I'll do it. There are a lot of heat sinks in here. But this is better. Okay, let's go. We can play Double Gauss ERPPC now. That's a good build. So, I will keep this brief. You are quite lucky you followed the added, uh, LTD with base escape out of that star system so closely. Another failure and the Hound of Kali would be forced to immediately fire upon your ship. But since you have the heretic in your sight, the hand showed compassion. You and your crew have one final chance to meet our request. Whitby is headed towards the Claxton system. One way or another, one of you won't leave the system alive. Alright. Understood. I need to repair the Marauder. I need to repair the Thunderbolt and the Charger. And this is all about big damage. So I will probably play the Black Knight. Yeah. I think I have to. Okay, so everything is currently in repair. Did I repair it already? Yeah, I, I started the repair already. Alright, um, I'm not gonna refit Mr. Kentaro because I'm not gonna use it anytime soon anyway. So that's okay. And we'll take a look at the star map and... Oh, we gotta go. Up to the Claxton system. Let's do it! Which make would be the best here? I don't know. Seems like an assassination mission. And... I wonder if my if my LBX DPS is good here. Maybe I put the the LBX on on an AI pilot, and I'm gonna go for the Black Knight if it's available again, because that thing is pretty precise. I like that. All right. Anyway, um, since we are playing with and against Starlink Era Max, we're gonna always go for maximum salvage. It is a pretty hot planet. Mm, not happy with that. How long can we afford refitting? Okay, let me see. We are running double heat sinks on this guy already. There is one single down here. Makes sense doing that. Okay. Just that little bit of extra, I think it's worth it. Takes us, what, five days? It's fine. Um... Ah, the archer is not great. The Thunderbolt? What about the Thunderbolt? A PPC, an LRM and some medium lasers. Backed up by... Two doubles and a single heatsink. That's not good cooling. Oh, we will have some problems here. We don't really have cold DPS. Maybe it's worth supporting you a bit more. You know? Like that? Make it that? Okay. So you can fire all the time. I think that makes a lot of sense here. Um, I don't know if ammo is good enough. So, what about we drop a single heatsink, get another ton of ammo, or maybe it's just good. Armor is fine. Yeah, I definitely want to bring the archer to this battle. Period. I definitely want to bring the archer to this battle. Okay. And then there's that. He could have used two more doubles as well. But it's okay, I'm gonna play the Black Knight, and I'm gonna bring the archer, the marauder, and probably one of the thunderbolts. What about you, buddy? You're also running on single heat sinks. Maybe you're the better one. Also, you have a tag. That's helpful for the archer. So we bring the 5 SS. Alright, guys. I think my team stands. Definitely not gonna bring the charger. That thing is too hot in this environment. Cool. Let's take a look at the contract. We will take all the salvage. Sure. Tarnished limit is 340. Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. Okay. You take the bolt. You take... The Archer. You take the Black Knight. Okay. I'm, I'm super excited to see how this goes. 18 days. Let's go ahead and drop. I'm excited. This is the last part of the mission, guys. And after that, we will get another Heroes of the Inner Sphere Hero Mech. There are seven. Seven, by the way. In total. Next to all the other regular heroes that you can find. But those are the special mission ones that are really exciting. All right, guys, we gotta find Whitby. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Let's do it. All systems nominal. We've confirmed that Whitby's stronghold is 
here in this remote, Ooh. uninhabited volcanic region. Handcrafted map. Is easy enough. The real problem will be getting to her. Okay. You have one primary objective here, Commander. Take Whitby out. I can do that. That's strange. Commander, that facility does not appear in the system's charts. In fact, I'm detecting several more large structures like it in the area. Something doesn't seem right here. Marking that target with tag. Oh no. Enemy destroyed. Okay. Oh, that was a guy. I, I was thinking. It's a flyer, that's why. I was thinking there was uh, somebody in the in the ground. Bridges must have been destroyed by the heretics. You should be able to clear it using your jump jets. Jump jets? Who needs jump jets? Ah, one down. I don't have jump jets. Ah, uh, you're like, I have to walk through the lava now? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do it. Whatever. By the way, when you walk through lava, I, I'm not getting tired of doing it, saying it. Uh, you get to 69 heat. Oh, wait, you don't. Oh, wait. No, it's not 69 anymore. Oh, uh, sure. Um, that was smart. <laughs> Let's go up here. And cool down a bit. I mean, the good news is we will just cool down naturally. I think there was something... Something about jump jets are advised on this mission. Alright, we'll take it slow. There's a Phoenix Hawk coming in. We lure him in. Yo, friends. Please attack the Hawk. I think I'm gonna play this mission rather slow because I expect a lot of enemy fire coming. So we're gonna try to take him out quickly. Shoot him! Okay, it's almost down. Lowering reactor spotted? That's bad. Okay, he's a spider. Again, we're gonna just... Just gonna get him into our little secret spot. Okay, so far so good. Take that spider. Okay, and another one down. So we got their scouts down, I think. Let's keep going. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I believe oh, I believe I know what the mission is now. Yeah, we have to really conserve our resources. The the, the last fight is going to be just so massive. It's amazing. So how do we traverse over this? We can jump and take the shortcut, sure. Lacing target with tag. Okay. Let's go down here. Target destroyed. So far so good. There's another mech coming. Dervish. dervish! It's a quarter dervish though. So again, I'm gonna try to take cover. Target Wait for my destroyed. team. Oh hello. You and your AC-20 burst fire are not allowed to be here. Uh, we didn't quite get him. Come on, guys. Help me out. That AC-20 needs to be silenced so quickly. Got it. Perfect. Is the dervish still alive? I don't know. We'll see. Try to sneak around the corner. Oh, there it is. And down it goes. The Black Knight is a real asset here. Having that accuracy is just so good. Are you seeing this? A Union dropship completely embedded inside these mountains. Looks like you've seen better days. I'll run an analysis. In the meantime, this is where they got all the I SLDF tech from. Soon. Yeah. So, what's next? I could also put my friends to the front and lure the enemies doing that. Why not? Oscar, Mike. Yo guys, you go. I don't think that's one of us. Max spotted. Max spotted. Got it's me. Firing. I don't know if I want to go for center or if I want to go for arm here. Let's take arm. He's almost down. All right, he's down. Nope. He still has a small laser in his head. Oh, never mind. But it's only a small laser, so it's it's okay to have him crippled like that. That's all right. Can you handle it, AI? Can you do it? I really hope so. Man, I don't... Okay, I'm gonna go. Also, uh, in this mission here, do I need to conserve ammo? I might want to do that. So, leave it to my friends to actually deal with that guy. 
it's very slow pace, but I think it's the right play here. Or are we just gonna... Yeah. Falling in behind you. I have an idea. I'm, I'm gonna not engage him. I'm gonna let him come back. Because I don't wanna lose too much time here pushing forward. He will come back. And when he tickles us with his small laser, then we know that he's there and then we're gonna turn around. Okay. Let's go. We don't have to kill everybody, even if he's just disengaging completely and is never coming back. I think I made the right decision here. Okay. Urban mech, first target. Taking all the damage all the time here. What? Go away, Urby. Okay. There was a crab somewhere. Oops. Is that an SLDF crab again? Nope. It would be very nice if you would take also some damage, team. But that would require me to not shoot anymore, and that's bad, because my mech is extremely efficient. Uh, but maybe I should take it a bit slower. Oh, boy. Alright, we're almost there. Almost. Alright, let's check it out. Gonna move around and see what's coming. Okay, so it's my left side that doesn't look great anymore. So if I have to twist, I gotta twist right side it. I'll send in my people now. You go first. Because, again, my mech. I wanna keep it for the last fight. It's super important. What? All right, all right, team. You can do it. I believe in you. Can you? Ah, there we go. Go, Marauder. No, no, left. Yeah, no. This way. Oh my freaking god! Those guys are clueless. Follow me. Follow me, guys. It is okay. I don't like this canyon at all. This is a trap. Alright. We're moving into position. Somebody's shooting Target something. Is done. Turret treasure. Okay. I think we're good here. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, guys. Oh, there's a turret right behind us. Okay, that's what uh, the problem was there. Interesting. Should we take it? Probably. Alright, let's take it down. Okay, seems good. Uh, you go in first, guys. It would be cooler to have some, some real-life friends. That help me. Because <laughs> they know what they're doing. Mechs equipped with jump jets ought to be able to clear gaps with ease, provided you regulate your fuel properly. Yeah, that's Let's okay. That's okay, guys. We don't need to worry about that, I think. I mean, sure, we can just hop... Kind of hop over these islands. No big deal. Uh, where do we have to go? Over Hold here. Okay. Position. Moving to indicate and there's just turrets, right? So far, so good. waiting for further. Yeah, I said you should go there. We're Thank you. Moving, Commander. Is there an ambush coming now? Oh, this is scary. Got it. Let's move. I think I, I saw a dropship there in the back. Let's so, we are here. Oh, this is tense. This is so tense. Yeah, there, there it is. There it is. Through the center. One more. Another one. Focus on engagement. On but I think my team can do it, right? Come on, guys. One shot. Get it done. I believe in you. Thank you. I think I didn't take damage from that encounter. That was good. Using our resources and then bumping into each other. Uh, flyer coming in. Got him down, perfect. 
Yeah, I can see why jump jets would be advised here. It's not, not a big deal. We can just traverse over the map easily. Another flyer coming down. Uh, that's a warrior. That's okay. We'll take it. And then there's a turret again. There we go. And another turret. I mean, luckily there are... It's just a kind of a gauntlet here. But not with big enemies. How do we get up here, though? Is there a ramp anywhere? Yeah, probably to the left. Let's go. Oh, man. Target destroyed. Yeah, ramp is here. Alrighty. So that's pretty good. Where are we map-wise? We are almost there. Oh, and then there's a gap. Pretty good. Another dropship, by the way. Yeah. So, sending in the team first, yet again. It seems like there's gonna be a fight happening soon. This is a combat arena. Yeah, pretty much, right? Find Whitbay. Uh, maybe not. What is this map? It's a, it's, a, it's a long tunnel with nothing in there. So far. Oh, you know, the occasional mech fight, sure, but... We have two Alpha Strikes and they are down. There has to be an ambush somewhere. Come on! At the very least, the environment looks great. That's pretty good. Copy. Moving as instructed. But we're almost there. Almost. Is this where the last stand is gonna happen? Is this where we find Whitbay? I have no idea. I wanna find out though. So let's push into the city. Actually. Ah uh, ha ha. Taking damage. Not good. I fell for my own impatience. That's bad. Come on, guys, you can do it. What? Oh, please, Pathfinder. Target acquired. Oh, it's too far away. 700? Okay. You got missiles. That's good. Got the Igor. In position, boss. Yeah. All right, let's go. At location. I want you to push into. Oh god, the general area here. Copy that. Let's move. And I hope that the Marauder is coming as well. Our assigned mech target is on the field. Let's take it down. Oscar Mike, your location. That's a stalker! Oh boy! Artemis stalker with ER larges! Alright guys, I, I need to try to get behind him and maybe backstrike or so. ECM as well! Okay. Gotta make sure he's not killing me. Almost. Come on, come on, come on. One shot. Got him. Nice. Very nice. Oh no. Okay. So we destroyed that stalker. Big time. Extreme caution. Yeah, I know. Oh god, do we take it? No, we cannot take the stalker. We don't have the rights for it, I think. Holy crapperoni, guys. That is a lot. That's a lot to take in, actually. Uh, I need to check out if the stalker 3 FB is actually also running double heatsink, so we corded it. Oh wait, that also means that it still has all the salvage 
in that mech if it's available for salvage. If it's not on salvage, then the parts of it will be in salvage. So, I hope that it's just gone. Honestly. Target another. And another one. Hey, show yourself. Oh, enemies behind us still. Wait a second. <gasps> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want to fire. I wanted to say hello to the Phoenix Hawk. Oh, no. I did a lot of damage to the back of my friend here. All right. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I panicked a little. I know. Not dead. Ooh, crazy. Got him. Now, let's keep going, guys. Form on me. So what's the next part of this? Where do we go? Oh, 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 yes, I know. Oh, no, oh, it's the top of the Vulcan. Yeah, that is the last stand. This is where we find the... Uh, would be whatever. Uh, oh, there we are. Yeah, there we go. We have to actually go to the top of the Vulcan here. This is so cool. I like that. Right here. Let's do it. The problem is that some of our friends... Six, the, some of our friends are kind of lost in transition again. Form up on the commander. I'm gonna leave the archer down there. I, I don't want to fiddle around with that anymore. We we'll just go and finish the mission now. I think we are kind of suited for that with three mechs alone. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. So guys, can you go first? I'm afraid. Uh. Plants repositioning to request at that point. All right, guys, let's go. I am the living avatar of death, and you will die at my hand. So the problem is we don't really have Enemy good line of sight, but hey, here comes an Orion. Oh, of course, it's that thing. All right, let's go for it. That is such a good mech, by the way. 11P! Ooh. Okay! Okay! 11P! Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, Cyclops. Cyclops first. Cyclops first, definitely. He's gonna go for me now, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my, my left side is getting destroyed by this guy? Not allowed, man! Not allowed! Yeah, you can have the Cyclops. I'm gonna go for... No, I'm not. Okay, he's getting out of here. I need to get into the fight again. Because that Klops can actually kill us. Alright, we'll try to take a center torso, mostly. Not shot. And there we go. So he's down. Now back to the Phoenix Hawk. That was also one of the targets that we have to destroy. There it is. Uh, I need to right side twist. Right side, right side, right side. If I ever want to live... It's a right side twist. Hey guys, attack! Attack! And that's it! Oh boy! We did it! So, why am I so excited about the Orion? I will show you. You know, showing is better than telling. Let's go home. Almost lost my. And we didn't really lose the mag, but almost got critical here. And um, I'm pretty sure that we didn't lose any components, hopefully, any items. So let's let's take a look. This is super exciting. Maybe we can take some stalker parts. Let's see. There it is. I would love to have that thing. Ah, there's so much good stuff in here. Crap 20 is not that interesting. This is not that interesting. The Phoenix Hawks. Not really. No, the max? Not at all. The stalker, yes, but anything else, no. Let's take a look. We get we can actually pick some AC2s. We need eight in total. 
And the rest is... Oh, yes. All the double heat things in the world. What else? There's nothing else we want. Not at all. So we need two, because I do believe we have to pick up eight, and we already own six, so we're gonna pick two AC2s. And then I think it's gonna be the highest value that we can still afford, which is a spider. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, and we get that Orion, which we completely devastated. Oops. Well, okay. So, it is finally done. The mad heretic and all of the weak-minded followers she told lies to are dead. All thanks to you. All of a sudden, she is nice to us again. The church does not wish to see Windery's delusionary, delusional crusade martyr her and her forsaken cause. As such, as a token of our true leader's gratitude and generosity, you are free to take the heretic's mech with you. But listen carefully, Commander. Despite our sincere gratitude for our hand for your handling of our sensitive issue, you and your staff are the only souls who knows of this w of us without being brought into the fold. If you dare speak our name or allude to any church or any church secrets, you may or may not have encountered. Wow, oh God! What is it? what is that sentence? If you dare to speak our name or allude to any church secrets you may or may not have encountered while under our employ in any corner of the galaxy before our grand reveal, the Church of Kali will find you and prop up your corpse right beside with base. This sentence seems to be made by a German because we like to make those long sentences. This is no proper English. For we have pledged our loyalty to the truly a true avatar of Kali, and her return is near. Our leader has seen her in, in her mind's eye, has seen the white tiger, has seen the Rakshasa, and has seen that once united the galaxy will burn, cleansing all of the non-believers. When that day comes, I pray that you will stand with us again, Commander. We will be sure to make your loyalty worth our while. Sorry for that. I, I know that some of you like to just read it and not hear me, but I know that some of you... I like it the other way around, so I'm gonna do that, and all of the people who don't like it can just read. Uh, yeah, we'll claim that, thank you very much. And uh, we collected some autocannons, so let's uh, get that. I don't care about the upgrades yet, because we don't have mechs that will stay in our lands for all the time. Maybe the Black Knight will. Maybe. Maybe we should upgrade the Black Knight. Anyway, here we are. And we have this beautiful Orion, which is in pretty crappy condition. Still has a bunch of doubles here. Yeah, everything that we lost, except for that one double heatsink, yeah, and the two in the center, we can replace and repair. Now, why am I excited about this? Um, because of, of this here. I'm gonna quickly show you something. I'll drop that, I'll drop the large laser here, all of that. All of that. Okay. Here's the cool thing. With... Let's say three LRM-10s, it's an LRM-30 build, which is basically the same thing as we have on the Archer, right? But the Archer has two 15s instead of three 10s. But at the same time, um, it also has enough weight to run, instead of the four mediums, two larges, and then, yeah, I would say we're gonna put a medium laser in here, and the rest is just two tons of ammo, and a bunch of heat sinks, and this make works. This is this is just a better version of what we have on the Archer. It's such a great support mech. You can also make it a brawler, by the way. If and here's the thing: if you want to go for a brawling build, um, okay, pretend. Wait a second. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm panicking. We'll do that. Three SRM sixes, which is amazing. Uh, we need more double heat sinks, though. So we're gonna fill that all up. And we're gonna put, like, four tons of ammo in this. Actually, four regular tons. And the rest of the mech is, um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on, where are you? We have a bunch of medium lasers. And we can actually afford one... We have large pulse lasers here. Yeah, kind of one large pulse. We can actually have two of them? What? Two large pulse, one medium? Oh my god. Uh, like, oh my god. I was not aware that that is possible. Fill up the rest with single heat sinks. That sounds like a build, everybody. Ooh. Oh boy. And then, you know, kind of 
mix and match armor a little bit and you're fine. That is insane. I was not aware that that's possible. Oh, it's not large pulse. These are short burst large lasers. But anyway, you have some mid-range damage that you can use to take down flyers. You have a great amount of burst. That seems like a good thing. But we will see about that in the next episode of uh, Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sea. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.